This video is about what to do when your ex goes quiet when things are going well. Hey there, it's Clay from modernlove.life. Let me know if this sounds at all familiar with what you might be going through now. Maybe you went through in the past, maybe you might even be going through it in the future, who knows. But you're actually connecting pretty well with your ex. Maybe it's on the phone, maybe it's through text message, maybe the two of you are meeting up in person, maybe it's something else, but the two of you are connecting pretty well. And you actually have this great conversation, you have this great meetup or great whatever, and you think, okay, wow, this is actually going really well. You could see us, you know, going forward from here and having, you know, some, some more meetups, connecting better, maybe, maybe we actually are gonna get back together. But what actually happens next can be really puzzling for a lot of people, and that's that their ex just goes quiet totally vanishes and falls off the face of the earth, stops responding, or has this huge pullback. Uh, what's this all about? And more importantly, what can you do about it? So first of all, this is what we call a positive pullback. This is actually extremely common. A lot of people have experienced this before in the past, but a positive pullback um, is when you have a good interaction with your ex and then they pull back for mysterious reasons afterwards. And it can leave a lot of people really confused because you're thinking, okay, we just had this great bond, this great connection, but now you're just falling off the face of the earth. You're ghosting me, you're whatever at this point. What's going on? Before you just, you know, go overanalyze everything and say, oh, was I like wearing the wrong thing? Did I eat too much garlic? Did I make some sort of weird comment and they just took it the wrong way? What I want you to do is I want you to understand where this is most likely coming from. So your ex had a reason for breaking up with you, whether it was rightly deserved or wrongly deserved or whatever, they, they, they broke up with you. And most people don't want to think of themselves as the kind of person that goes around breaking other people's hearts and making them cry. If maybe you cried during your breakup, nothing wrong with that, I, I cried during my breakup. But they don't want to think of themselves as the kind of person that goes out there and hurts other people, makes them cry, all that sort of stuff. And so they have to start to think about the past. They have to start to think about you and your relationship together in a way that allows them to feel good about themselves. So they might need to distort, twist, um, delete certain parts of your history, etc., to allow themselves to tell themselves a story that you were someone worth breaking up with. Maybe you didn't tell them the truth once for some innocent reason. They might start to distort things and say, okay, you always lied to me. You, you were never someone that I could trust, right? That might be the story that they need to tell themselves in order to sleep at night and live with themselves and say, okay, why did I break up with them? Why did I do it that way? And so they have this negative image of you in their mind, whether that is rightly earned, or maybe they had to heavily distort it in order to make that image be true. But uh, they're, they're holding on to this negative image of you. And uh, this allows them to feel good about themselves throughout their day, that they're making the right choice by breaking up with you, that they're still a good person. And um, when they interact with you, and they actually have this positive interaction with you, this great experience, this bonding experience with you, they're first they're forced to say, okay, wait, wait, I thought you were this like terrible lying dirtbag over here, but instead you were this like totally honest, transparent, uh, straightforward person who took responsibility for things and all that sort of stuff. What happened? Is this the real you? Maybe this was just you on your good on a good day? This was maybe just you on your best behavior? Or may maybe, maybe you were learning some reverse psychology tricks, some manipulation mind games on the internet, and you were trying to use them on me so I'd take you back. That's probably what this was. Or see, so what if I was wrong? What if this isn't you? What if you, what if you weren't this total dirtbag and you actually are this great person that I interacted with and had this wonderful meeting with the other day? And so your ex is gonna be kind of confused during this whole experience. So many times they actually pull back afterwards as they start to reevaluate things and say, okay, are you this person? Are you that person? I'm not sure who I'm dealing with here. And so this positive pullback is, is that's where it's coming from. Now, what you want to do with a positive pullback is you want to stay curious. You want to get curious and turn around and ask them when you start to notice this. So take on the curious stance like we've talked about in previous videos and just genuinely ask them, hey, it seems like you've been pulling back a little bit since we recently met up. Is there something going on that's causing you to, to, to behave that way? And then they have the opportunity to volunteer the information and say, yeah, this is what it is. Sorry, I've just been really busy, whatever. I mean, it might have nothing to do with you. They could have just been really busy with work or some family thing or whatever, but you're at least giving them the opportunity 
opportunity to fill in the blanks so that you know where they're coming from and you know what this is all about. So that's really what you want to do in that sort of situation. Please go ahead and share in the comment section below what your experience has been with positive pullbacks. Is this something you've experienced? What was it like for you? Go ahead and share that in the comment section below and we'll go ahead and take a look at those and maybe we'll get some good video ideas from those moving forward. Anyway, thanks so much. Take care and I'll talk to you next time.